Hello, and welcome to a tier list for Divide and Conquer, a Lord of the Rings mod for Medieval 2 Total War. Uh, I'm going to be doing a tier list, or two tier lists actually, for the factions in version 5, specifically, version 5. Uh, I'm going to do one for the difficulty of each faction, ranging from very hard to very easy. And then I'm going to put in this tier list uh, how fun they are to play, from thoroughly enjoyable to boring. So let's go ahead and start. Anduin Vale. Uh, I actually think they were easy in version 5. Uh, I uh, pretty much focused on Gundabad the whole time. Uh, destroyed them very easily and did not get attacked by Dol, or Dol Guldur at all, which I found surprising. And uh, luckily in my campaign, the Woodland Realm actually did something instead of sit there with their thumbs up their asses the whole time, which I found surprising. Uh, so maybe I just got lucky. But I found them pretty easy to do. Uh, in terms of fun, uh, I would say they were okay to play. Um, I actually won the campaign before turn 100. And I think that was a little too quick. Um the only really fun thing about the Anduin Vale is the skin changers, of course. Watching them fight in battle is amazing, as they literally throw enemy infantry up in the air and kill them. <clears throat> but uh, other than that, you know, you just kind of build archers and then sit back and slaughter the enemy as they charge at you. And then next up is Angmar, the realm of Angmar. Uh, I think they were uh, quite hard. Not super hard, but quite hard. Uh, you have a lot of enemies to fight at once. The frickin' Northern Dunedain would not leave me alone my whole campaign. And Arid Lewin, uh, I find quite difficult to fight against. Uh, maybe that's because I suck against crossbows and pikes, which is what Arid Lewin is. But uh, yeah, I found Angmar pretty hard. But in terms of fun, um, well, speaking of fun, they're fun. Um, I like their unit roster quite a bit. Good mix of orcs and men. And I really, really, really love the Barrow Whites. Uh, I pretty much conquered all that was west of me with that uh, Barrow White General, Hoovhorn, or whatever his name is. Uh, and then, of course, Overlord Agendower is a very good general. Um, but yeah, I, I really like their roster and their starting position too. <clears throat> Makes them fun to play. And who's next up? Arar Denayim. Uh, well, this is a tricky one because you can start anywhere. I, I started at Umbar, which is probably the easiest place to start for them. But I mean, if you tried to go for, I don't know. Minas Tirith first, that would probably be a lot harder. So you know what, I'm just going to put them at medium. They balance out. Um, but in my campaign, uh, I started in Umbar, and I actually did a world domination campaign. That was a lot of fun. Which makes them thoroughly enjoyable. Uh... I love their unit roster because they can recruit so many different units from all the other factions. And uh, their uh, actual, 
roster uh, that they start with, not the ones that they subjugate. They're fun too. I really like the Baruthiel's Rangers and uh, their household guard, the bodyguard for their generals. That's a good unit. And uh, I, I think starting an Umbar makes it a lot more enjoyable just because you can see the map change your color f going from the south up. And uh, that that's one thing that gives me a hard on is seeing the map change the color of your faction. And then, who's next? Bree. Ooh. They, this is tough, because uh, they're, their economy is so good, but their units are total dog shit. Uh, I want to say the campaign was medium, medium difficulty. I had a rough start with mine just because the units were so bad, but uh, once I did the mercantile route, uh, my economy flourished and I could basically pump out army after army. Um, in terms of fun, though, I honestly think they're just okay to play uh, because their units are so terrible. It, it legitimately made the battles not fun to play at points. But I, I do love their economy system. Their economy system is actually probably the best in the game. So it, it's like the campaign was thoroughly enjoyable, but the battles were not fun at all. So it kind of averages out to just okay to play. All right, who is next here? Dale? That's Dale? Yes, that is Dale. Uh, I, I think they're hard. Uh, I think they're hard because of their economy. Their economy is so trash. Uh, the whole campaign, I was scrambling to get armies together. Luckily, your units are better than your enemies that you have to fight. So that, that helps a lot. If your units were like Breeze, <laughs> then uh, that would definitely be uh, very hard. But uh, as it stands, they are just hard. And in terms of fun... Uh, they're somewhere between fun and okay. I really like their units, but uh, I'm an economy guy. I like to play economically. So the fact that their economy sucks was kind of hard for me to deal with personally. So I'm going to put them at okay to play. Uh, I do like the enemies that you fight, though. That uh, they have a good diversity of enemies to fight, so that makes it a little more fun to play. Uh, here we have here. Oh, Dahl Amroth. Well, that's the freaking hardest campaign to play, in my opinion. So I could almost put another tier up here very, very fucking hard, and uh, they, they would be up there by themselves. Uh, I struggled the entire campaign. Um, I, I lost so many generals at that one settlement in uh, Harondor, whatever it's called, Barad, Barad Hearn. I, my whole campaign, <laughs> or the first two-thirds of it at least, was sending my generals down there to replace the dead generals that fought and died defending that settlement from Harad and Khand and Mordor because Mordor destroyed Gundor of course so I had to defend against them too but uh, the only thing that made it winnable was I was actually able to regicide Harad and Khand that it's the only time that's ever happened to me but <laughs> I defended my city so much that I ended up regiciding 
two of the evil factions, and then I swept up the rebel lands and ended up winning the campaign that way. Now, in terms of fun, I actually think they're f fun. Um, I think their unit roster is one of the better ones. I really like playing cavalry in Medieval 2, and it's a cavalry faction. Their general is OP as hell. Watching them crash into the back of an enemy unit is just glorious. I love it. I love it. And also, you have a diverse enemy, a diverse amount of enemies to fight as Dal Amroth. Oh, and their units look beautiful too. Their units are absolutely beautiful, especially the the Talon Knights and the Knights of the Silver Swan. Really good unit models there. Now, who's this? Dahl Gildur. Uh, huh. um, I think, I want to say medium. Not too hard, not too easy. Just kind of in the middle. Dahl Gildur. I have so much trouble saying that. Dahl Gildur as a faction is just completely mid to begin with, which uh, they are going way down here. I do not enjoy playing them. I, I don't think skirmish factions work too well in Medieval 2. The whole skirmish thing in that game just does not work. So having a whole faction based around being ambushers and skirmishers just does not work. And their unit roster is boring and bland and sucks. Uh, the only good thing they have about them is Kamul, the Easterling. He's a really good general, and uh, I like him. But other than that, no. Oh, here we have Dorwinian, the winemakers. Uh, I thought they were easy. Um, easier than Anduin Vale. Yeah, no, not as easy, but they were still pretty easy uh, because their economy is so good. They're in the richest area, and if you rush the right provinces, uh, then you can definitely set up a good economy early on. And they have really good elven units, too, which are a perfect counter to Rune and Mordor's unit roster, which... They were fun to play. They're going right up here. Um, more fun. Nah, they're the bottom of fun. But they're better than okay to play. Uh, I like the choice that you get between them. Of course, I always go economy. Well, not always, actually. That was a lie. <laughs> uh, but I, I like the units that you get their their choice and also like the economy you get from the other choice um, makes them a lot of fun to play I think uh, who is next I believe that's Dunland Dunland in version 5 holy hell they were very hard I got my ass kicked the first two times I attempted the campaign, I just could not do it. I could not beat Rohan. I could not beat Enidwyth. It's because my strategy sucked. I tried to play defensively. Of course, that just didn't work. And then the only way I was able to beat him was using the cavalry general to rush Enidwyth. And then once I had the eight provinces that you need... I actually sold them back to Enidwyth for money and an alliance and then focused on Rohan. And that's how I was able to win the campaign finally. Little strategy there, huh? In terms of fun, I, I don't, yeah, not fun. Their unit roster is terrible. Uh, I don't like their starting position. 
which is it's kind of ironic. I love Isengard's starting position, but I do not like Dunlin's starting position. Uh, and the, the campaign itself is kind of a slog once it gets to a certain point. They don't have good economy. Uh, at least you do get to unlock some good units. That that keeps them from being completely boring. But other than that, they don't have a lot going for them. It's not one that I intend on playing again anytime soon. And then In and Wythe. Oh, they are so easy in version 5. They are a powerhouse. They pump out units like nobody's business. And then once you get the uh, Tharbad and complete the quest for that and unlock their good, good units, you're even more of a powerhouse. So that makes them incredibly easy to play. But I also think they're quite fun. Uh, every once in a while, I like, we'll put them right there. Uh, I like the factions that can spam out armies very well. Um, I think In and Wythe is a lot of fun to play. Certainly a lot better than version four. Uh, that, that was definitely one of the better changes from version four to version five was In and Wythe. Uh, I think that they made them an actually playable faction. A fun faction to play. And then we have Erebor. Erebor, I think they are easy. Uh, pretty easy, actually. Right there. Um, yeah, your, your back is guarded. For, uh, if Dale is able to take the rebel settlements, they can fend off Rune. You don't have to worry about Dal Guldur. There I go again. <laughs> Dal Guldur. And uh, you basically just focus on Gundabad the whole time, even though they are a tough nation to fight against. But if in this game, if you're only fighting on one front, it does make it a lot easier. And the dwarves have all the dwarves have a very good unit roster so i think that makes them a little easier to play they have good generals too and they also have my favorite unit in the game the sons of the fallen uh, i know that's arguable but uh, i'm right they are the best game unit in <laughs> the best unit in the game Best game in the unit. Oh, God. I'm good at this talking stuff. <laughs> uh, in terms of fun, Erebor, yep, yeah, they are fun. Not completely enjoyable, or completely thoroughly enjoyable, but they are quite fun to play because of their unit roster. Watching the, your heavy infantry smash into the orcs and fend them off is great. They also have really cool settlements, like fighting in Erebor and um, Dane's Halls is really fun. And Berzakul, that's a fun settlement to fight in when it works. <laughs> All right, who's next up? Arid Lewin. Oh, they are very easy. Very, very easy. Safest starting location in the game. Very good unit roster. They overpower their enemies. Uh, the only thing I think it would make it harder, specifically in version 5, is if you decide to fight the High Elves. They are not easy to fight against. But uh, if you go the good route, oh, that's definitely, that's probably the easiest campaign to do uh yeah and your pikemen can deal with anything even the the second tier pikemen you don't even have to go to the third tier pikemen and your crossbows are amazing they have a very high missile damage so if you just line up your 
your pikemen, send the crossbowmen around, shoot the enemy in the back, you're going to win every battle like it's nothing. Uh, I, uh, I wouldn't say they're completely boring, even on, uh, if you go the good faction route, I would put them at the bottom of not fun though. Um, they're really just a, a beginner faction. Like I, I would recommend them for someone who is new to medieval two or to this mod. But other than that, uh, I don't plan on playing them again. And we have Gundor. Ooh, that, that's a tough one. There's so many different ways a Gundor campaign can go. Uh, sometimes Dal Amroth will help you out. Sometimes they'll get immediately destroyed. Uh, sometimes Rohan will help you out. Sometimes they will get immediately destroyed. But I, I think they're somewhere between medium and hard. But I'm going to put them at hard just because of how many enemies they have to fight. Especially if Khand goes the evil route. Um, you constantly have to be fighting battles on your home front. Defending your land from Mordor. Because they never stop. And Isengard from the west. Because they'll probably attack you. And you know. Harad if they get through Dal Amroth. And Khand if they get through Dal Amroth. It's just never ending. The whole campaign. But they have a very good unit roster. And like Dal Amroth. They look beautiful. Their animations are really good. The unit models are really good. I love the the look of the sword and shield infantry glistening in the light of the sun. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, in terms of fun to play, yeah. They are quite fun. Right up here. Very fun. Um, I think the fiefdom barracks system is uh, pretty creative for this game uh, I like the unit roster as a whole you have a good mix of cavalry infantry and archers and of course you get the trebuchets which if you get to that point and need them will automatically win you any siege battle that you have against Mordor or any of the other evil factions so they're not too good in, in the field battles, though. So, But yes, I find them quite fun. Uh, Gundabad. Oh, they're easy. Not very easy, but easy. Just because of how good they are. Your west is protected by Angmar, so you can focus on one front. And your units are better than the Anduin Vale, so you can sweep them up. And then you can focus on Woodland Realm or Erebor. And if you unlock the higher tier units early on enough, the dwarves shouldn't be any problem for you. Like, I, I won the campaign with Orc Avengers and Bolg's Champions. Th those are some fantastic anti-dwarf units. So it, it was pretty easy. In terms of fun, whoo, uh, it's up here somewhere. I'm, I'm going to put them right here. They're like, they are like the Gundor of evil in terms of fun, I think, because of their unit roster right from the get-go is so good. And uh, I like their starting position a lot. I like their generals, and um, I, I really like their anti-dwarf infantry units. Makes it a lot of fun to play. Everybody should fear the coming of the snow orcs. And who do we have here? Harad. Oh, Harad. I'm going to put them at medium. Uh... They're almost easy, 
because of their starting position. They they don't have a lot of enemies to fight against. You can just sweep up the nearby rebel regions. But uh, the thing that keeps them from being easy is their unit roster. It's not very good. Uh, once you get into the late game, you're actually going to struggle quite a bit if your enemies uh, are keeping up with you. But overall, I, I think it balances out to medium difficulty. But in terms of fun, I, I, I don't think they're that fun, to be honest. I, I put them up here. The only really fun thing about them is watching your Muma kill trample over all of your enemies if you get to that point in the campaign. I also like the look of the serpent units and the uh, oh those ninja looking assassin type infantry. Oh hell. You know what I'm talking about. Those are fun units to use. Oh and their bodyguard. Of course their bodyguard is a cavalry unit which of course makes them a lot easier to use. Oh, hell. You know what? I'm plopping them back down to easy. Just because of that. I, I just remembered. They're cavalry general. That makes everything a lot easier. Well, except for Dal Amroth, of course. But that's Dal Amroth. So, there you have it. And then we have the High Elves. Uh, They're somewhere between... Easy and very easy. Uh, I'd put them at very easy. You would think they'd be hard because of their starting position. They start split up. But their unit roster is so good compared to who they have to fight that that, that does not matter at all. They will outfight any of their enemies. They have the best units in the game. Especially if you unlock the tier 3 and 4 units quickly in your campaign. You also get really, really good generals. The best generals in the game. And uh, you have Elrond, who has Gilgalad's company, which is one of the best units in the game. They're just all around very easy to play. Uh, a good faction to play if you're a new player to this game. Uh, in terms of fun, oh, thoroughly enjoyable. Um, I, I did something very interesting with one of my High Elf campaigns, which was <clears throat> uh, I noticed the victory conditions are just to control 10 provinces, but also destroy Mordor. So what I did was conquer the goblins and Isengard and Dunlin territories and sell them off to like Bree and the Northern Dunedain and uh, my, the other elf factions. And I, I tried to sell all this land to my allies, try to get them beefed up to take out Mordor. And it actually worked. I was surprised. I didn't think it would work because your allies in Medieval 2 are stupid. <laughs> but it actually worked. I, I would keep the diplomats all around at our, my allies' capitals. And then as soon as I conquered an enemy territory, I would just sell the land to one of my allies and watch them do all the work. <laughs> and uh, I will admit there's some cheaty things I do like I open up the the console and move armies together to create big epic battles there, it was really fun to do that with the elves and dwarves and northern Dunedain all of them fighting together against Mordor so that was thoroughly enjoyable and next up we have Isengard. I would put them at the, ooh, easy. I would I would put them at easy. They're quite easy. Uh, their unit roster and starting location 
are both very good. Rohan is a bit tough to fight against, but once you get your Urukai pikemen out, you're good. Just fight them at the bridges and in the castles, and Rohan cannot do anything against you. But uh, in terms of fun, oh, they're going way up here. This is my favorite evil faction. I love playing as Isengard. I love their crossbow units. I love their pikemen units. I love their berserker units. And I, I love the look of the faction. I think they are the coolest looking faction in the game. At least the evil factions. Oh, excuse me. Um, maybe, I don't know. The High Elves have some pretty cool looking units in the game. And so does Dal Amroth and Gundor. But out of all the evil factions, they are the coolest looking one. I, I just love watching thousands of Urukai come over the hills and come down on top of the enemies and smash them. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, next up is Cond. Uh, this is, mm, in version 5, it's either very hard, medium, or very easy. <laughs> so I'm going to put them in medium. So very hard would be if you choose horde and start in a very stupid location. But if you do that, you're basically doing it on purpose, I think. <laughs> Or you're just doing it to yourself. Um, medium, if you choose good cond, and very easy, easiest. Oh, well, I said that about Eric Moon, didn't I? Okay, easiest for an evil faction, if you go evil cond. So I'm gonna put them at medium. And in terms of fun, uh. Pfft. I, I do not like playing Cond, even though Cavalry Archers in Medieval 2 are completely overpowered. I just, their starting location is boring, uh, which makes the whole campaign a slog. The siege battles are not fun to play as them. Uh, it just makes for a very, very boring campaign. And I appreciate the, the dev team fixing them in version 5 to be a horde faction that does make it a little more fun but still overall they're just quite boring and who do we have here Kaza Doom um, that's tough it's uh, I'm gonna go medium them I, I found their campaign the actual campaign quite hard to deal with. Uh, maybe because of how unique it is and their starting position and what you have to do to set yourself up. Uh, put them about right there. Um, but their unit roster is very good. Of course, they get that morale bonus for all their units, which makes the in-game battles a lot easier but in terms of fun uh, they were okay to play I, I when I played them I did the expedition I thought the unique game mechanic would be a lot more fun to play but it ended up just being okay to play uh, I, I don't think the medieval 2 engine is actually a good one to do for that style of play. Like if this was on the Warhammer engine, the expedition would be a lot better. It'd be like how the the Chaos faction or the Beastmen factions operate. Kind of. Kind of. So yeah. Uh, unfortunately, just uh, engine limitations there. And next up is Lothlorien. Mm. Um, 
Well, they are elves, which makes them easy. Are they very easy? I, I think so. They're not the easiest, but I think they were very easy. The only thing that's hard with them is economy, because you, your units are so expensive. But the thing is, your starting units are so good that you can take Dol Guldur by turn 20, which I did with uh, Celeborn's unit. That his, uh, his bodyguard unit is just amazing and will rip through any orc unit that they throw at you. So once you capture Dol Guldur early on in the game, set yourself up. The rest of the campaign is kind of a breeze. Um, in terms of fun, I think they're fun. I really like the Galathrim. I'd put them about right there. I, I love their units. And um, I love the, the choice that they put in for Lothlorien and the Woodland Realm in this version. <clears throat> the, uh, the conjoining of the two factions. Uh, I usually... Well, I shouldn't say usually. I did not accept it. I, I'm a loner. I decided to play the Lone Wolf campaign, but it, that did not make it any harder or easier. Uh, uh, I think overall, though, that they're pretty fun unit uh, faction to play. All right, who's next? Mordor. Wait, is that Mordor? What is this? Yeah, that's that's Mordor. Uh, Mordor is freaking easy as hell. Holy crap! That that's probably yeah. I've said this three times now, but that's probably the easiest campaign in the game, which also makes it the most boring campaign. Uh. You just, it's so easy to overwhelm Gundor, especially considering your Nazgul bodyguards. Like, if you did not have the Nazguls, then the campaign would probably be a lot harder. Not necessarily more fun, but uh, they definitely need a rework. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. I... Like, I, I won the campaign before I even got the Alakai and the Great Beast units out to use them. So, the best units that they have are pretty much superfluous. And then we have Goblins of Moria. Uh, boy, I, I, I'd put them at easy. Not easy, medium. Right about there. I think your units suck. That That's obvious. But you can spam so much of them that it doesn't matter how much you lose. For every, you know, one goblin that, that dies, there's five more there to replace it. And they're so cheap that you don't need a great economy to sustain it. But, you know, if you take Cause of Doom early, <clears throat> that's a moneymaker right there. So, but yeah, the reason they're not completely easy is because their units are so bad. And I think they're okay to play. Um, playing them was a nice break, actually, from having to strategize every battle. Like, I, I would just swarm my enemy with Snaga Skirmishers as a very underrated unit, by the way. I, I was able to take Imladris because of Snaga Skirmishers. You have 250 people, goblins, throwing a javelin. It's going to do a little bit of damage. So that, that made the campaign bearable was... Uh, Having that that easiness from just uh, being able to swarm 
your enemies with thousands and thousands of puny little goblins. And who is next? Northern Dunedain. Ooh. Very hard. That is a tough campaign. Maybe not as tough as Dal Amroth, but man, you have to think about every decision that you make, I think. that That's the best way I can describe how hard it is. I feel like if you, if you misstep uh, on turn 5, it'll come back to bite you in the ass by turn 20, and your campaign is just done and you have to start over. Kind of like Dunland. But in terms of fun, holy crap. I love playing them. Um, <clears throat> reuniting the kingdom and reuniting Anor are both amazing. I, I love that mechanic. It's obviously a big selling point for the mod because they named version 5 a kingdom reunited. <laughs> but uh, in terms of enjoyability, oh yeah, way, way up there. Uh Probably the most fun, good faction to play, uh, I think. Yeah, looking at it, yeah. Uh, it's very story-driven, especially for a Total War game. And uh, you get such a feeling of accomplishment once you've reunited those kingdoms. And then the, you get the Oath Breakers, <laughs> which are a lot of fun to use. Uh I was actually able to take uh, Baradur, ba Baradur, with my unit of Oathbreakers, and I killed something like 10,000 orcs. It was great. And then who do we have here? Oh, Rune. They are very easy. Uh, I'd put them about right there. Um, I think... They have the best economy in the game, which I love. They have a very diverse unit roster, which I love. And they have a very good starting position, which I love. And it makes the whole campaign very easy. Maybe not the first 20 turns. I was in debt the whole first part of the campaign. But once you get those trade posts up and built, uh, it's a breeze. But I also, surprise, surprise, loved playing Rune for all the reasons I've already mentioned. I, I, I love a good, diverse unit roster. It makes the strategizing of the RTS battles very enjoyable. And I, I love the look of Rune. Oh, the units are so beautiful to look at. Golden red. Oh, and you get the, the, the fire bomb throwers and the fire archers, which is unique, and the chariots, which is unique. Oh, it's just, just an all-around, very balanced, very fun faction to play. I love it. And Rohan. Oh, they're very easy. Just because of how good cavalry is in Medieval 2. I mean, you can beat the campaign with your low-level cavalry with Rohan. Um, I, I think that... What am I saying here? I'm having a brain fart. Uh, very, very easy, uh, as long as you don't charge headlong into an Urukai Pike unit. Which you shouldn't do, because you're not the AI. Uh, but in terms of fun, I, not fun. I, I, I thought I would enjoy them more than I did. I, I tried so hard to recreate the awesomeness of the Battle of Helm's Deep, and that was the highlight of the campaign. Um, when Isengard brought about 10,000, 8 to 10,000 Uruks up to Helm's Deep, and I sallied out with my cavalry and wiped them out. That was the highlight of the campaign. Other than that, it, it really does feel like the campaign that is the same thing over and over and over. 
and that makes them not too fun to play, honestly. And then, I, I guess that's the Dark Lord of Sauron. I, you can't play as him, so. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Woodland Realm. I, I think they're hard. Uh, even though it's an elf faction, yeah, their units are really good, but damn, their economy sucks. You cannot do anything to sustain your units, at least the amount that you need. And in version five, I, I always have trouble with Gundabad coming down and attacking me from behind while I'm trying to deal with Dal Guldur. And uh, it, it just makes it pretty hard to do, in my opinion. But in terms of fun, I, I think they're actually quite fun. About right there. Um, probably the the best archer unit or archer faction in the game, other than the high elves. High elves win everything. But I, I really like the look of the archers. I really like that you get Legolas. They have the best archer unit in the game with him, uh, which makes it. What did I do? Um, OP, I think. The Henny Dower. That's a very, very good unit. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, can't, I don't know what that's doing there. That will just about do it, uh, I think. Yeah. It's nice to see a lot of them at fun and thoroughly enjoyable. Uh, even these right here, they're not bad to play. So. That's only seven factions that I don't really like to play out of all of this. It's a really fun mod. Uh, it's actually the reason why Medieval 2 is my most played game on Steam. So thank you to the team for that. All right. Yeah.